Have you been bitten in bed? Are you suspicious you may have a bed bug infestation? Don't panic. Bed bugs are just one cause of bites in the home, and not the most common one. Mosquitoes, spiders, fleas, bird mites, cone nose bugs, and several other pests also bite people, causing similar red itchy welts on the skin. To confirm that bed bugs are the source of your problem, you need to inspect your sleeping and lounging areas for bed bugs or signs of their presence. Important indicators of a bed bug infestation include blood smears and fecal spots on mattresses or bedding or bed bug shed skins. Equip yourself with a flashlight before beginning your inspection. Bed bugs are small, about the size of an apple seed as an adult, and even smaller when they are young, and they like to hide in dark spaces. Make sure to thoroughly inspect all potential harborage sites, and keep in mind that bed bugs can hide in cracks and crevices as small as the width of a credit card. Start your inspection at the place most likely to be infested, your bed. Check the pillows, sheets, and blankets, especially around edges and seams. After carefully removing all bedding, lift the mattress and inspect all its seams, ridges, its label area, and surfaces. Next, do the same for the box spring, paying special attention to the cracks and crevices. Look behind the headboard and on the bed frame. You may need to dismantle the bed. If you find no evidence of bed bugs in these areas, chances are you don't have an infestation. However, also thoroughly check other upholstered furniture in your home and wood cabinets, baseboards, wall hangings, and other hiding places within about six feet of the bed. Remember that bed bugs prefer wood or fabric surfaces. If you do find bed bugs, call a pest control company that is experienced in bed bug management and uses IPM or integrated pest management methods to handle the problem. Over-the-counter pesticides are not usually effective against bed bugs and can be dangerous when used improperly. For more information on bedbugs, go to the University of California IPM website.